Hello. In this 1.20.1 Forge QJS video, we're going to be going over how to modify food, the food properties of items in game. Uh, first of all, um, if, you, if you find this video informative, uh, please give it a like, uh, comment with any questions or suggestions for future videos, and subscribe to the channel to not miss future videos that get into QJS uh, JavaScript coding. In addition, uh, this this channel is brought to you by Bisect Hosting, um, great server hosting platform, and I will be getting more into about their services later in the video. So, first of all, any file that is editing the properties of food uh, needs to be in the startup scripts folder. In that, you can create um, a JavaScript file. I called mine food.js. Someone in this file will be all of my examples about food modification. So for the first line of code, uh, we need to use item events modification, and then we're going to pass in the event. This is similar to any other uh, item modification uh, script, but obviously we go more into detail with this. So the first um, thing we're going to modify is the dandelion. We're going to give food properties to a dandelion and make it edible. So we're going to do that with event modify and then we're going to pass in the string of the item so an item ID that being Minecraft uh, colon dandelion and then we're going to do comma and then we're going to pass an item and another callback next we need to do item dot food properties e being equal to another callback so we're going to use the parameter food and then we're going to use the error notation for a third time here and then finally inside here we can actually um, edit our item uh, food properties. So the first the first example is food.hunger and then we're passing in an integer. So this is real simple. It is the amount of units uh, that um, an item gives you in terms of uh, food. So one is equal to half of a, a bar or um, a notch or whatever you want to call it. So here food.hunger2 this is making a dandelion give you 1 out of 10 hunger back. Our next exam or next uh, property is food.saturation and then again we're passing in an integer. So this is the saturation multiplier. This is not the amount of saturation you get. Um, in game, I will show you the results of this, but here we're going to just use one. Our next food property is food.fast to eat. This simply makes the food fast to eat, so like dried kelp. So since the dandelion is a smaller item, I figured this would be a good example to use on that. And then finally, food.always edible, and then setting that to true, it's false by default. Um, this makes it so it, uh, an item can be eaten even, that the, even if the food bar is full. If you don't have this, it will default to false. So that concludes our first example. Our second example is going to be um, adding food properties to a diamond block. So again, we're using the same sort of structure, event.modify and then passing in the item ID, that being Minecraft colon diamond block, comma, and then the, the item callback here. And again, similar to the last example, I, we're gonna set item.food properties to be equal to a food callback. Hunger, this is a, a similar thing up here. Here, a diamond block is gonna give you five, uh, five out of 10 hunger back. Saturation, we're going to set that 10, I mean the 7. Again, you'll see what that looks like in game. And then our third example, or third property in this function is new. It's food.meat. So what does meat mean? Well, it, does, it doesn't mean like a steak or something. It means something, specifically it means a food item that can be fed to wolves. So we're going to set that to true. So you can uh, set, uh, you can feed wolves diamond blocks in this to uh, increase their health. So that concludes our second example here. Uh, before we get into our final example and the results in game, 
um, I would like to give a shout out to our server hosting partner, Bi uh, Bisect Hosting. Um, this offers server hosting for Minecraft, specifically as well as over 80 other top online games. You can pre-install about 2,000 Minecraft mod packs automatically. Um, they offer 24-7, 365 customer support that can help troubleshoot your server and mods. They also give you full file access for plugins, config files, mods, and other things of the sort. Um, and you can also host your server from, from around, uh, you can choose from 20 locations around the world to help with acceptable latency. And then finally, they advan offer advanced DDoS protection. Um, again, this is a great service. I cannot recommend them enough. Uh, please check out my affiliate link in the description below that will um, give some good information to help inform you of a purchase that aligns with your needs and your budget. So moving into back to the video, our final example here is we are modifying uh, rotten flesh. So this is already a food item, but really what this example does is we want to make sure that the rotten flesh item has no food properties at all. Simply put, the we do that by doing item.foodproperties making equal to null. So this completely removes the nutrition aspect uh, game mechanics wise out of rotten flesh. So now that we have these three examples, let's, uh, let's, go, let's go over the properties one more time. So hunger is quite simply uh, gives you the amount of uh, food uh, points that you get back. Saturation is or the additional yellow highlights, at least if you use the the Apple Skin mod that show how much saturation you get. Again, there's a math operation with that. Fast to eat simply makes the item uh, very quick to eat, like dried kelp, not like most uh, conventional food items in the game. Always edible. Uh, if you set that to true, again, if you, if you, it's not necessary to do food dot always edible um, passing in false because it is false by default. But nonetheless, this makes it so that your food item can be eaten even if the food bar is full. Uh, meat uh, refers to uh, an item that you can feed the wolves. If that's true, um, you can feed, in this case, diamond blocks of wolves. If you have it false, um, it's not really necessary to have because that is false by default. And then finally, if you want to completely remove the nutritional aspect out of a particular item, you can simply just do item.foodproperties equal to null. So let's check in in game now. So first we have dandelion. Here we have... Um, we have it equal to one hunt, uh, well, two hunger, but that is e that makes it equal to one um, notch, one out of ten, and then also it's it has two saturation, so that's what we get by doing the saturation mul saturation multiplier being equal to one. You get two um, saturation points. Diamond block. Here we have again as a review, we have ten hunger. So that also shows in game, and it also has 70 saturation, and that checks out with the saturation being 7. So simply put, it's multiplying 10 times 7. And then also this is a meat item, and then rotten flesh, as you can see, I'm using the apple skin mod. There is no um, nutritional aspect anymore for, for this item. So if, again, if you found this video informative, please give, a, give it a like. Uh, feel free to comment with future video suggestions or any questions that you have regarding this video. Um, again, thank you to Biosect Hosting for supporting my channel. And again, comment if you need anything. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.